What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I, I'm not even gonna freaking do my what is going on, my people, or you know what is. I changed my intro recently. Nobody has commented about that, and I'm really surprised. But I can't do the intro, and the reason why is because that would be me playing my Avis Reviews character, and. In, well, I mean, if you're like stupid and you didn't know, Avis Reviews is a freaking character. He's an idiot that uh, goes on Twitter and is a, the god of Twitter and then the freaking king of pinheads and does these stupid skits and uh, tries to act smart but is in incredibly retarded. That was Avis Reviews. Pre um, I would say probably about 90%, 80 to 90% of the Velskabum video uh, or actually, no, let me, let me phrase this a different way, okay, 10 to 20% of the Velskabum video was Avis, and pretty much any other video, 100%, was also Avis, I think probably only, probably like 80% of the Velskabum video was actually me and not playing a character, but this video is a, probably 100% me not playing a character, this is just being me, genuine, a real... I'm not even going to say motherfucker. I'm not even going to say I'm a real motherfucker. A real person. I'm just being down to earth and real here. Um. Gosh, where do I even start? Because I was going to write a script for this video. And I was just like, frick it. I'm just going to get the microphone. And I'm going to talk. I am going to just go. I, I, I'm speaking. I, oh, God. I just had like a stroke. Jesus Christ. I just need to talk. And I know I'm going to stutter and repeat myself and keep freaking up because that's just what I do when I don't have a script. I suck without a script. Unless I'm doing like a... Okay, that's off topic. But um, I do want to try to keep this video positive and I do want to try to find some comedy in it maybe. Uh, I just don't want to be the depressed... Man, I'm going to go leave it frick you all. No, I, just, I don't want to do that. Whoever does that, frick you. Uh, I can already think of one individual in particular that almost did it, but uh, we'll leave that for the uh, hour-long video. But anyway, um, I don't want to say that I'm quit. Well, I am. I'm a liar. I'm a dirty, dirty liar. Okay, okay. I am quitting. Although I, I do want this video to be relatively positive. Um, so and, and it will be as it goes. It's just a really hard start for me because I really don't know where to begin. But, uh, yeah, I'm leaving this channel, um, I'm just, uh, I guess I'll just get into the reasons why, I've already been rambling on for three god dang minutes, um, basically, the main reason I can probably give you is that I'm, yo, is there, I'm in the middle of trying to make, like, a freaking, oh, stupid dog, anyway, you know what, I was gonna save this point till later, but I'm just gonna be straight up with you, this is a video of me being, freaking real and we're about to get into this i am not necessarily having fun doing videos anymore to at least a certain degree uh and i'll try to explain why in the, in the best way i can without a freaking script but um i really just i guess let, let me give you some insight into me let me let me tell you what kind of person i am i'm the person to get like let me give you an analogy even uh, let me get, like, a video game or something. Like, uh, this actually happened recently. Pokemon Heart Gold. I will freaking get that game, and I will grind all my Pokemon to level 9 99. Freaking 99, 90, 90, whatever. I'll, I'll get all the gym badges, I'll do all this cool stuff, and I'll almost beat the game. Or I'll get, like, halfway through the game or something like that. And I'll just grind. I'll 24-7, 7 days a week, uh, a, a lot of weeks in a year. Uh, a, a lot of years in my lifetime, that one. Uh, I would just grind. And then, I get to a point where I've grinded so much that I'm just like, frick it. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's just boring as frick. I want to move on to something else. And that's kind of what happened to my channel. I had all these series going on with my freaking Squares Comparison, my Cartoon Discussions, my... For, I had other series coming up, like bonus discussions, I had the first episode of channel analysis, I had my normal reviews, I had all this crap, live streams, whatever the frick, okay, I had all that, 
And it eventually... I focus so much on YouTube that... You know what? Let me give a little bit of back. I know I'm jumping from topic to topic, but... I'm trying to give you guys a good context and try to explain as much as I can. Um, so, if you don't know, for about 10 days, a little less than two weeks, I took a break from Twitter because some of the same reasons I'm quitting YouTube. Um, I was just grinding way too hard on Twitter, just putting out way too many tweets. I tweet over 100 times a day, sometimes probably over like 200 and 300 times a day. I would tweet more a day than some other frick was post a year, which is absolutely goddamn ridiculous, and I want to make a whole freaking rant on idiots that don't post on Twitter that often. But well, that's discussion. For, well, I can't even discuss it another day because I'm going to the freaking channel. But anyways, I keep getting off topic. I have no focus. Anyway, um, I took a break from Twitter, and all that break, mostly yesterday on the 23rd, uh, I just kind of reflected on myself and my channel and my persona and character online. And most of this happened yesterday. And I was just thinking, like, what the frick am I doing with my time? <laughs> because on that break, I was freaking chilling back, watching One Punch Man, freaking playing Pokemon Heart Gold, and then I got burned out of it. <laughs> Although I, I And then I got back into it. I'm like, yo, let's go. Um, I was freaking living it, and I was thinking back to my channel, and I was just like, I put so much effort and time into this channel that I'm kind of starting to lose it here, and I think it's becoming way too big of a part of my life, because, alright, if you want to be, like, uh, a YouTuber that makes money and maybe is, even turns into, like, a company or something, you do this as a job... I understand this. This is not a job to me. This is a hobby. However, me being the stupid piece of crap that I am turned this from a hobby into basically a non-paying job where I would do this every single day and I, I have like something stuck in my mouth. Um, I do this every single day and I would um, just pretty much, yeah, like, you know, you have like an eight-hour shift at work or six hours or seven whatever the frick, um, I would do this for, like, eight hours a day, and I was just like, okay, this is no, this is no, and, uh, and I was like, eh, I could slow down, maybe, I was actually thinking about slowing down for a very, very, very long time, because weekly wasn't cutting it, but at the end of the day, I'm just like, I just want to stop spending freaking two days for over 12 hours editing a goddamn video. I just, that's not what I'm interested in anymore. And I want to move on to something else. That's the best way I can put it. Uh, although that's, we're, we're freaking all, almost nine minutes in. And um, I, that's, we're still on the first freaking reason. Because there are multiple reasons. Um, and you know what? I'm not even going to pretend like this is the universe against me or whatever. I'm well aware it's my own goddamn fault. That I got burned out of it. Uh, and I'm the type of guy where I'm not just going to do something I don't like. Uh, if, I, if I don't have to, of course, you know, going to, like, school and work and all that. You have to, um, to you know, make money or, you know, freaking, yeah, whatever. Um, and I don't have to do YouTube. I don't monetize. Like, Yo, name one of my videos that is monetized. Unless there's like a stupid copyright claim or something. I've never monetized a single video on this channel. This was not a job. This was not even like a side job. This was 100% a hobby for fun. And when you take away the fun, you take away pretty much the purpose of the whole goddamn channel. You, you see what I'm getting at here? Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're... I've been going on for 10 goddamn minutes. This is too much. Uh... And I don't mean this is too much for you guys to handle or something gay like that. No. I'm saying I've been going on for this way too long. Um, so let's get on to another reason. And this is a reason I've recently been thinking of. And just before this recording, it kind of hit me. And I was like, holy frick. YouTube sucks. And I don't mean like YouTubers suck. I mean the website sucks. For so many reasons. And I'm just like... Why would I want to be a part of a sinking ship?
Because this website is a goddamn sinking ship. It gets worse every year, I freaking swear. Uh, you got... Uh, every month. Frick every year. Every month it gets worse. They have some new stupid addition. I mean, I think when it really started to go downhill, uh, aside from, like, the false copyright bullcrap that's been around forever, uh, probably, I'd say the YouTube Hero stuff. When YouTube Hero was first introduced, the community lost their goddamn mind. And that was the snowball effect that started all these other stupid things, like demonetizing video, YouTube, uh, YouTube promoting more garbage, uh, people starting to, you know, lose a lot of revenue and stuff, ads pulling out, uh, YouTube... There, there's just, there's, like, people, there's giant bias towards companies and stuff. The whole website started going downhill, and I could go on for freaking days about all the stuff that happened to YouTube. Um, but there's so many videos talking about it, and there's just nothing I can say about it anymore. So if you if you want to go check out any videos, go in the search bar, freaking uh, look it up because yeah, that's why. <laughs> Uh, it's not like I don't have reasons and I'm just like leeching off YouTube. It's just there's so much to cover and this is not what the video is about. And I just want to give you guys a reference to uh, somewhere you can find out more if you don't know how freaking garbage this website is. Um, it, it is fun, but it's fun garbage. And when you take away the what well, was fun, I'll say. And when you take away the fun, it's just garbage. <laughs> this is the stupidest analogy, but... Yeah, it is a fun garbage. Like, YouTube is like a guilty pleasure website. Actually, let me give you an example. Or, an analogy. Let's say there's a bad movie. Let's get, let's take Shark Tale. Shark Tale sucked. It was a bad movie, alright? Look, uh, but ironically, it could be a pretty good movie. Because the animation is just so hilariously off-model and ridiculous. Not even off-model. It just looked horrible. It was so ridiculous that I can just laugh at it. However, if you gave that movie, like animation so bad that's not even funny i'd probably hate that movie so much more it would not be a so bad it's good it wouldn't be a guilty pleasure it would just be a garbage movie uh that's what youtube is fun garbage take away the fun it's just garbage and that's where i'm at um but yeah i think the last reason i'm gonna say and there are other reasons but I, this is already going on for way too freaking long Oh my god, I might have to edit some of this down. But anyways, um, I just want to pursue other things. Um, because even if YouTube was still fun, I spend way too much time on it. And I just kind of want to be interested in other things. I, I have stuff going on in my personal life, which I don't really want to get into. Uh, cause I stay really, really private on the internet. I, you know, I'll just spoil one of it. I do Taekwondo classes. And I kind of wanted to focus on Taekwondo a little bit more. You know, I had school going on. Uh, I got some things coming up, which are, I think, a little too personal. I'm, uh, I got, that's a freaking, a pool. We're in the shallow end. I'm not going in the deep end. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, and I think I would be a lot more interested in doing some more stuff in your life and getting off this internet uh, than doing more stuff on the internet. It is just, the internet is... I keep bringing up this analogy, but the internet was fun. And when you take away the fun, there's no reason to be on the internet. Because I'm not doing this as a job. No one's forcing me to do this. So it's got to be for fun. And if I'm not having fun, then what the frick am I doing here? <sighs> Alright. On to kind of my goodbye statement, uh, or whatever the frick. Right here, I got a giant list of people, and I want to thank all these motherfuckers for helping out Eos Reviews. Not me. They didn't help me. They helped... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say they didn't help me. They helped Eos Reviews, but nah, they helped me. Um, uh, let's see here. All right. Here's a, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to say their name. I'm just going to say something and say thank you and say you, you produce awesome content if I think their content's good or whatever the frick. But anyways, first person on the list is Noah David. Thank you so much, man. You are one of, probably one of the closest friends uh, I've had on this internet. Uh, I've had some great conversations with you. I think we're kind of similar personalities. So uh, you basically put a, a freaking 
Oh, um, I, I can't think of a good analogy, never mind. It's not putting a shark and a fish together, it's putting two sharks together. But you know, they freaking hate everyone and want the internet to die. Or, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, I think you make good content, Noah. Keep it up, man. Uh, I probably will still watch you, uh, even though I'm not going to be producing content on my own. But, you've had a long history on YouTube yourself. And I think... If you if you are having fun with it, then keep it going, man. If you are uh, if you want to quit, then I respect that and I understand, because I'm freaking doing it. So why the frick would I not understand? Uh, Nick Tendo, I actually haven't uh, talked to him on like a call very much, but we have talked on Twitter quite a bit and on the Discord uh, messages and stuff. Uh, and I, I'll, I forgot to mention this, but holy frick, uh, we <laughs> me and Nick Tendo had a podcast, and I kind of feel like I'm freaking them over now. Because now I'm quitting, who the frick's gonna be the next host? But, um, oh well. Uh, I guess what what's done can't be undone. But anyway, um, Nick, I, you're, I don't want to say too much because a lot of this was private. But, um, you know, I'm not even gonna mention it. I'm just gonna say thank you, Nick. You're an awesome guy. Go check out McTendo. Critic Nation is someone who actually left the community last night. And, um, uh, he left, which kind of sucks, and I, it's kind of coincidence I'm, like, leaving right after. I didn't even notice that until now. But, um, anyway, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. Now, privately, a lot of people freaking hate this guy, but, and at one point, I was kind of on the fence about him. But overall, I think he's a cool guy to talk to, and I think he does make mistakes sometimes. But you know what, man? I think he's still a pretty good dude. Next person on the list is Professor Dragonite, someone who I only met a couple months ago, but he's a really good friend. I really enjoy talking to him, and uh, I really like his response to criticism because he's always asking how to improve and how to make him his content better, uh, and I really like that. He's always asking for advice and stuff, and he really appreciates his comments, unless it's some stupid hater that's commenting something completely ridiculous that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, of course, no one likes those comments. Unless they're so funny, they're stupid. Kind of like Shark Tale. But anyway, um, wow, I'm just freaking mur murdering Shark Tale. But anyways, good dude. Go check out Professor Dragonite. Uh, Torch Sheep, he was uh, probably like one of the first people I met in the animation community. I reached out to him, or he reached out to me, and I said, hey, you want to talk and stuff? And he's like, sure, whatever the frick. Um... And <laughs> he, did, he obviously didn't say what at the frick. But he's a really nice guy. I really like Sheep. He's probably one of my favorite people in this community. Next up is the Critical Reviewer. The first person I met since I made my channel. Uh, and I, he's, he's been there since the beginning. I really, I really like this dude. He's, I'm always trolling on his freaking streams. We're always having a great time on his streams. So ch Critical Reviewer, go check that dude out. Gem Reviews. Uh, I talked to him on Twitter a decent amount, to say the least. Um, and I think Jem is a great guy. I think he's very nice and funny. And I'd recommend you go check Jem out. Uh, okay, so this is the last of the people on YouTube. And then we're going to move on to some people on Twitter. Last person is Twisted Dans. He's a small YouTuber, but I think he's a pretty underrated and intelligent channel. I recommend you go check him out. Uh, so Twisted Dans, thank you. And thank you to everyone I just said. I forgot to... Ah, oh, I'm so forgetful. I forgot to say thank you after every single one of them. Nobody's going to watch this video. It's over 20 minutes. Anyway. Uh, and I was also like to thank... Uh, Cayman Caleb. Jared Reese. Scored with Hair. Ultimate Dogonator. And the Crimson Mayhem. All those dudes on... And I know Crimson Mayhem has a YouTube account, but I mainly talked to him on Twitter. All of these dudes are awesome. We were like a whole squad on Twitter. That was cool as frick. Uh, I really enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, so thank you all for the awesome times. Uh, let's see. Why the frick? I'm looking at my notes and it's all fricked up. Well, I don't have notes for like all the stuff I rambled on about the video. I only have like a list of people I want to give a shout out to. Uh, also some people that uh, I just want to give a shout out to as well is Iggy the Koopa. I love talking to you on Skype. We had some amazing conversation about Pokemon and SML and some other random stuff. 
Uh, you're a good dude, Iggy. Uh, and Kimak the Mage, which, uh, I talk to him from time to time, but I still think he's a really good friend, and I really appreciate him as a company. I'm finally finding, like, good variations of how to thank people. But anyway, um, and the last person I'm going to cover until we get on to someone I really, really, really want to give a shout out, actually my best friend, and someone I do know in real life. Uh, last person I'm going to talk about is Doe Yates, dude. Alright, this is, this is, I, I saved him for last, or at least close to last for a certain reason. It's because I kind of want to, not, not necessarily give advice, but, actually, yeah, it is giving advice. Frick it. Um, WH, dude, I honestly don't talk to him that much uh, outside of Twitter. Of course, I'm always popping on Twitter. <laughs> but, on Twitter, I have seen him tweet some, like, really depressed and depressing stuff and i'm kind of thinking like he might be going through something and it kind of shows and i don't know if it's playing a character but i'm going to it's it seems too real man it seems too real to be playing a character so i want to talk to him and i want to say he, he always says that like he doesn't like himself and he's ugly and he doesn't have any friends no Listen to me. It's time to be inspirational. Yo, inspirational. I'm inspirational right now. All right, 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 all right. Whoa, what is this, Rick and Morty? Okay, no. It's all seriousness. Dub, you are a cool dude. You are a good person, and you make entertaining videos. Do not freaking tell yourself otherwise. No. Bull crap. Bull freaking crap, all right? And even if... Everyone else on this planet, hypothetically, if aliens zapped people's goddamn brains and freaking everyone on the planet hated you uh, for some reason, guess what? I would still like you. I don't care if anyone hates you or everyone hates you or I don't care. I don't freaking care because I like you. I think you're a good person. I think you're a good friend and I think you're entertaining. Do not... Put yourself down like that. Come on, man. You, you're, you're good. Don't, don't. I, I, I. Oh my God! Do I do drugs? Jesus Christ! I'm doing so bad at this. Uh, you could freaking tell the non-scriptness. I know life can be tough. People j joke about you. They'll goof on you. Whatever the frick. It seems like whenever it gets goofed on about this whole like gay joke thing, uh, he gets pretty upset. And I can understand why. I really, I get really annoyed when people say, uh, like, I'm, I'm a Sammy the Sonic fan ripoff or something stupid like that. S some guy called me, like, a Keemstar ripoff the other day, and it was the stupidest thing ever. But anyways, from your perspective, I do understand jokes can be annoying and unfunny sometimes. But at the same time, don't, don't let them bring you down, man. Don't let you bring you down. Keep an, don't be an ego. You know what? Frick it. I'd rather you be an egotistical motherfucker than be a sad dude that hates himself. No, I don't care if the next freaking day you like throw money, money in a homeless man's face or whatever the frick. I'd rather you be egotistical than depressed. That is, I, I, I don't know if I'm fricked up for having that mindset, but I'm gonna, sh I'm, 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 I'm hinting people with those facts. Oh, that was just one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Anyways, on to the conclusion. Um. I want to do you guys a, f uh, oh, ooh, I forgot something. I got to shout out the boy, the man, Extreme Cynic. Now, he doesn't post on YouTube that often, but I have talked to him a lot behind the scenes. I actually know this dude in real life. I've known him for over a decade. Um, and I mean, depending on how you count it, it could be two decades, depending. I don't know. People count decades really weird. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, I've known this motherfucker for most of my life, and I just gotta say, thank you. I even talked to this dude before I made this video last night. I was like, should I quit? And then he gave me some good advice, which by the way, I am not deleting this channel, and you can thank that guy for convincing me not to do it. He made some good points, and I agree with him. I should not delete this channel. Uh, I am still gonna talk to Extreme Cynic, uh, obviously, because I know him in real life. But um, thank you, dude. You are you are awesome. You know who you are, and you're watching this video right now, hopefully. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and also, 
one more thing, Extreme Static. One more thing I gotta tell you. And this is the most important, alright? This is the most... Forget the WH2 thing I just said. No. This is the most important thing you gotta remember. You are so arrogant. Okay, that, that made absolutely no sense out of context, but he'll get the joke. Anyways, final word is don't be sad that I'm leaving. Don't cry those freaking... I mean, you're... You see, this is why I quit YouTube, because I can't words. But anyway, I'm going to do you all a favor, and my legacy will continue. And do you want to know why it's going to continue? Because right here, I have a list of awesome content creators that are Avis Reviews approved. And I want you to subscribe to each and every one of them. If you want to thank me for producing content, then this is how you can do it. By subscribing to each and every one of these people I'm about to list. I even said some of them earlier, but I'm about to relist them. Blue Artisan, Torch Sheep, the one and only uh, C.R. Martin, Shadow Streak, Noah David, Twisted Dance, Professor Dragonite, WH Dude. Uh, I put Blue Artisan to white, so I'm retarded. Anyway, uh, uh, and, and I put Professor Dragonite. Wow, I repeated the same. I am not good at making lists. Subscribe to each and every one of them, all right? Because they make entertaining videos, and I promise, I promise that there's a good chance that you'll enjoy them. Uh... So yeah, I'm going to leave off YouTube on a positive note by giving some shout outs to channels with under 10,000 subscribers. I wanted to keep it under 10,000 uh, because if I do over 10,000, then, you know, most of my uh, audience is probably already subbed in them anyway, especially if they're cartoon reviewers, uh, which I was going to like say Noah David or not Noah David, uh, someone else, I can't remember who it was. Um, they have over 10,000 subscribers. Uh, and I was just like, okay, frick it, that's pointless. So yeah, if you have over 10,000 subscribers and you're offended, don't be, because I know, I know you produce good videos. Well, unless you're actually a garbage YouTuber. But I know you produce good videos if, if you, you know what, I'm, okay, anyway. So, that is going to be it. I actually have one more thing to announce, though. I might not be leaving YouTube forever. Now, I am gonna abandon this channel i'm not gonna delete any videos i'm not gonna delete the channel i'm gonna keep the channel up and i'm going to delete every other account like twitter discord skype whatever the frick uh, i'm gonna delete all that within probably like 24 hours probably like noon tomorrow not probably like two o'clock tomorrow uh three o'clock maybe uh, i'll delete all my accounts uh because i just want to leave the internet i want to pursue other things uh you know just chill live life frick youtube uh <laughs> Um, and I am, I, I might, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll make this promise. I would say two to three years, actually, oh, I completely forgot something I got to announce. But anyways, two to three years down the line, um, and if YouTube is fixed and they, the website is not complete garbage and I'm bored. I might make a new account and just focus on producing content that I enjoy and do not make this a job. 100% make it a... I'll even, like... I'll never make an uploading schedule. Never. Ne I might make, like, a streaming schedule, but I'll never make an upload schedule. And I'll, like, limit myself uh, to how much of videos I can produce. Um, or hours I spend on a video. Whatever the frick. Um... If, if that is the case, then yeah, I might come back. And something, and not with this channel, a different channel. I just want a fresh new start if I'm going to come back in like a few years. Which I seriously doubt that because YouTube's probably going to stay in the same... As, no, I take that back. It's not going to stay in the same state. It's going to get worse. <sighs> but as I was saying, there's going to be a Twitter account linked in the description called Pinhead Time Cap. No. Not Pinhead Time Capsule. I'm going to name it just Time Capsule because frick my character. Um, and this Time Capsule, in three to four years, I'm going to... Or, not three to four years. If I decide to make a new account in a couple years, then the Time Capsule Twitter account will give you the link to that new account. And the reason I'm doing this, and I know you're going to say, nobody's going to follow it. Oh, frick you. Uh, unsub. Uh, no, nobody's going to care in a few years. See? That's why I want to do it. That reason right there is why I want to do it. Because this is an experiment. This is an experiment for two reasons. 
One, I want to see if YouTube does improve and I can return. Or two, um, I want to see how many people would still be following me after a few years. I want to do an experiment to see how loyal the fans can be. Now, I'm a small YouTuber, so I really do not expect... I expect, like, eight followers. Maybe, like, like five uh, to follow me, uh, like, over the course of a couple of years. And, like, see the, the Twitter thing. I, I'm sure there'll be, like, three, maybe. I don't know. There'll only be a few. Only a couple. But... I want to see if I can be proved wrong. So, if you want to see if I come back in a couple years, follow the Twitter account and wait a couple years. However, I kind of have my doubts. Whew. All right. Time to edit down this video. All right, guys. So, hopefully, uh, you probably didn't enjoy this video because it's so freaking long. Everyone hates long videos. Uh, tough for the people I like playing. Okay, anyway. I, I don't even know how to end this off. I guess I'm I'm Avis kind of not really and I'm signed the frick out for the last time